With the Strictly Come Dancing final right around the corner, the remaining five contestants are preparing to take to the dance floor for this week's semi-final. Although after an incredible performance during the musical special, it looks as though country file star Helen Skelton could have already secured her place. Last weekend, Strictly fans watched as Helen and Gorka wowed the judges with their couple's choice routine to mine hair from the musical cabaret. Being awarded a near-perfect score of 39 from the judges, the duo also impressed viewers at home as they made it through to the upcoming semi-final. Currently, at joint first place on the leaderboard with actor Will Miller, Helen's confidence has soared since her debut on the show as her scores have continued to increase. Speaking about her success in the competition, body language expert Darren Stanton believes her place in the final has already been secured. Tired, repetitive and overhyped, BBC viewers call for Strictly to be axed after 20 years Strictly Come Dancing first began in May 2004 and has seen many celebrity faces take to the dance floor for a chance to win the iconic glitter ball trophy. However now BBC viewers have called for the competition to be cancelled after 20 years, calling the show tired and repetitive. Speaking on behalf of Betfair Casino, he commented, Helen was most definitely at the top of her game this week. She started off slow and has had a rocky journey to this level in the competition, however, whatever issues were besieging her in the past, she seems to very much have resolved them. She delivered a fantastic performance and received great feedback from the judges. Based on this performance alone, I think Helen has definitely secured herself a place in the final. It's almost like she is a race car, who has been hanging back a little, but now the finish line is in sight, I think she has certainly stepped up a gear. Helen seems to have had a reverse journey on the show. She started off extremely shaky and did not have a great rapport with her partner Gorka from the outset, it's taken her a great deal of time to secure that connection, she is definitely a potential winner. Although the mum of three has been dominating the competition, she confessed when somebody leaves the competition she gets emotional. Speaking on the Strictly spin-off show It Takes Two, the 39-year-old said, I cry every week. Every single time someone leaves I cry. Dot, I didn't think people would become good friends. You know when people used to say, oh I just love everyone in here. I used to think no you don't, you've known them for 5 minutes. But you have this weird, unique, shared, fabulous experience. In last week's quarterfinal, fans said goodbye to Morning Live's Kim Marsh and Graziano De Prima who fell to the bottom of the leaderboard with a score of 34. The 46-year-old was absent from the week prior after falling ill with coronavirus. Upon leaving the show, Kim told presenter Tess Daly that her dad, who has cancer, has been so proud of her throughout the competition. She said, it's kind of kept him going. When he was in the hospital last week, and obviously we weren't here, all these guys sent him videos and it meant such a lot. My grandchildren are so proud. Directly Come Dancing continues on BBC One on Sunday.